boss. The boss. All righty now, Rick. Yeah. We seen pictures. Right. There's pictures of a graduation ceremony. The pictures appear to be Rick Ross. Now, I'm reading in Double XL where, I, and I haven't had, got a chance to get the Double XL, but they said, okay, Rick Ross finally confesses or owns up to or being addresses. a correction, addresses being a correctional officer. So, our first chance to talk about this. Right. Rick Ross, where did the picture come from? Is that Rick Ross? Was Rick Ross a, C, a CO? Was that created or is that a real picture? See, this is what we did, right? I got with BET and we doing a, a whole special on my life. We chronicling my life for a lot of people that just really want to know what the situation is. The boss done did it all to get money. And what you got to understand is if rumors surfaced, it wasn't because, of, and, and, and people feel like I didn't address them, it wasn't because of my selfish reasons. But you got to understand when you answer certain things, it may go to what was going on, who was involved what the situation really was. So what we did was we got with BET and we chronicled my life so people could understand that by the time I was 17 years old, 18 years old, I was in a, you know what I mean, a, a nice home. I was in whips. I was doing a lot of different things. And then, um, you know, I made a few moves, you understand? And I feel like they was the best decisions for me to be here. So, you know, just look for in-depth situation that really I could capitalize off to, of course, promoting Deeper Than Rap. April 21st, and I think it's the right way to really give people visuals and really sit down in depth and ask everything everybody want to know. When you say, like, situations that you had to get into, 17, 18, and, yeah, and the maneuver. Mean it, yeah, mean it, mean it. You know, by the time I was 15, I was I was doing things, you know what I'm saying? Right. I got a full scholarship, um, and, you know, football was my passion. I got a full scholarship, and it took me out of my city. It took me out of my element. It took me from around the people. You know what I mean? Because, like, you know where I come from? All the moves I ever really made my whole life was, like, team moves. You know what I mean? Stuff that would benefit me and my homies. And I walked away from a full scholarship, you know what I mean, to um, follow a dream me and my homies had in the streets. You know what I mean? So we all did a lot of different things to put us all in, uh, um, in position. In position, right. And it's not the obvious so if, if Rick Ross did work at one of these places, it wasn't for the obvious reasons. Right, right. You know, it's a lot of gold mines around people's faces that people really don't know how to take advantage of. So, yeah, me and, you know, we did what we do. You know what I mean? And right. we're going to really just break it down, and I'm going to let people see what it was like for me when I was 18 so with an $80,000 watch or am so I, on and so forth. Am I waiting for the BET special? Or no. can I ask right now, was Rick Ross in his lifetime a corrections officer? Rick Ross done did it all to get money. I done did it all except set dudes up, put dudes behind bars, and that's what's important to me. And whenever I read a blog or if I came to radio stations, that cr of me being a CEO never been a pressure question for me. Because if I could go back to the hood and sell 50 of them things, I could go sell 50 CDs. So that ain't no pressure at all so i just wanted to put it in perspective respect my homies that's involved you understand and when certain things come up ross don't address that and that's what i'm gonna respect you know what i mean is that picture is that picture rick ross yeah that picture was rick ross beautiful day in the neighborhood it's a it's a, it's a it's a real beautiful day in the neighborhood yes, and is. what people got to know the truth is far more sinister yeah and and you know what man like when you if you say that it's a bigger picture and cats don't understand what... No, nah, it's a lot of people that's like. just... It's a lot of people that don't understand, and I don't blame them. Do me the biggest favor. Right. I understand, but it's, it's people that know what's really good, and, you know, when you do... You, you make money. Have y'all seen Departed? Mm-hmm. Do you, like, there's, there's some, probably some talk that's going over people's heads right yeah, now. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. But, he but I feel what you're saying. A lot oh, of but let me tell you, when I talk about... Understand. When I talk about... When I talk about yeah, yo, when I talk about streets, body counts... That's where I really come from, you know what I'm saying? I came up in Kara City, the heart of Miami, and just so happened in my generation, we had a, a, a good friend of ours by the name of Kenneth Booby Williams who was featured on America's Most Wanted in 1999. You understand it? Um, he was accused for over 200 homicides and running an $80 million enterprise. And this was actually the dude that inspired me to rap. So this was really like a mentor to me, and still is, and you know what I'm saying? This is where I got my game from. When I was 14 and 15, when I talk about being in the White House, 
when I talk about certain things, it, it ain't that I'm bragging. You, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. When the picture did surface, was it ever in your mind like, there's a picture or there's a past something that could haunt me. Are you was like, no, nah, that's how we got it. That, that you don't understand. No, how that what it what it was is, I'm certified in the streets. You know what I'm saying? And, and and that's what it is. Usually every hood I go to, somebody knew somebody that was close to me, and they knew the the connection. So whenever I talked about getting money, it ain't nothing. Let me ask you this, Rick. Why did it take so long for you to say it, or it just wasn't nobody's business? No, it ain't even that. It's just everybody that's involved. You gotta understand. I respect the Miami underground scene. I, I, I respect that that underground lifestyle. And where I come from, talking too much it gets you in trouble. And there's still people in the streets that, even though I'm a successful artist, there's still street people that help raise me that I look up to. You understand? And they, they Ross, don't indulge in that. Any problems I got, I ain't got no problems. No street problems. Got more jewels than anybody, and gonna wear them anywhere. And everybody know what it is. It's consequences behind me. Rick Ross up in here, beautiful day in the neighborhood, big boys big neighborhood. Big boy.